Esquimalt Railroads. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. For 75 years, the Naden Band has been a proud part of naval history in Esquimalt. The Naden Band was formed during World War II as a way to keep up military and civilian morale during some very dark days. Over the years, they've done all that and more with concerts, dances, and hundreds of radio broadcasts and performances at base ceremonies and at parades both here and around Western Canada. The band has represented the Navy throughout the country. In travels abroad, the Naden Band became an ambassador for Canada with performances at Expo 70 in Osaka, in Fiji, Australia and New Zealand in 1972, and in Russia in 1991. Last June, the band proudly participated in the 60th anniversary of D-Day at Normandy. Today, the band has 35 professional full-time musicians, and they take an active part in fundraising for non-profit organizations such as the Salvation Army Christmas Toy Drive, the Military Family Resource Centre, and the United Way. The ceremonial component of the band supports government events that we're familiar with here, including the Victoria Remembrance Day ceremonies, the opening of provincial legislation, uh, legislature, and the Canadian visit of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth in 2003. The end for the band nearly came in 1994, when it was one of five military bands that were cut in the federal budget. Three years later, the music branch was restructured and the Naden Band was reinstated. Over the past 75 years, the band has presented audiences at home and abroad with musical performances of the highest caliber. Under the direction of Lieutenant, Com uh, Lieutenant Matthew Clark, the band performs in a variety of large and small ensembles and performs at parades, ship departures and arrivals, and military dinners. I hope the House will join me in saying congratulations to all the members, past and present, on the, uh, this occasion of the 75th anniversary. Here's to another 75 years of making beautiful music together. Thank you.